สวัสดีค่ะ Hi everyone, this is Joy j o u r n e y Channel and I am Joy. What you are going to see in this video is about merit making ceremony for Buddhists in Thailand. I took the video a couple years ago on my grandfather's death anniversary. You call that right? Uh, every year, our family and relatives uh, gather together to make merit for him and for our families who already passed away. The making merit ceremony, or we call t a m b u n in Thai, is very common ceremony. We hold it on a, a good occasion. For example, when you have a new house and you do kind of the house blessing, when you are um, getting married or your birthday, or so on. Sometimes people hold the ceremony at their house or their company, but in this video, uh, I and my family gather in the temple because my grandfather was a monk in this temple, and our family are familiar with uh, the ceremony and and this temple. How to enter the monkhood? I'm gonna show you in another video if I have time. I use a video from two ceremony. Because I don't want to miss anything, and you believe it, I wait until another year and took the video again. <laughs> and my cousins, my aunt said they want to be on YouTube, so I try to put them together in this video. <laughs> All right, let's go to Wat Don m u e n g or Don m u e n g Temple. We hold a ceremony at this building. It's like a multi-purpose building. We go there in the early morning to prepare food, cook or buy the good food for the monk. Before we hold the ceremony, we have to inform the monk. We have to prepare a portion of food for the Buddha image and for the spirits of those we make merit for. And these are ashes of my grandfather and my mother that we need for a ceremony. When the monk arrive, we offer them cold drink and hot drink. Monks can't touch women, so we let men do it. And monk cannot give or receive anything from women by hand. But the monk will lay the cloth in front of them, and the woman can place an item on the cloth. Monks can have two meals a day: breakfast and lunch, and their lunch start from 11 to 1 p.m. We have to let the monk finish their meal first, then we can eat. Monies are collected from those who want to donate to the temple because actually monks are not allowed to touch the money. So when we offer money to the monk, it's like the temple staff will take care of the money. When everything is ready, my grandmother lit up candles and dust stick to pay respect to Buddha to start the ceremony because she is the most senior. This is another year. Then the monk will do the chant and say prayers. We listen to chanting and sermon. Normally at the temple, there is a staff who can help us and lead the ceremony. While the monks are chanting, everyone will hold the flowers, candles, and money that we are going to offer and pray. Uh, the monk going to make uh, holy water that we are going to use later for blessing. They will let the wax from the candle falls into the water. The water will receive blessing from monks. <laughs> Now it's time for the monk to have lunch. You can see that my aunt 
is placing a food on the cloth that a monk is holding. And we put all the plate connecting together. Otherwise, we have to offer many times. By doing this, we offer only once. After the meal, the monk will begin their chant again. Next, the officer will place the rope and other offerings for a monk. My grandmother lit the candle and draw stick again at the place where my grandfather and my mother's ashes are placed. It's like we inform their spirits that we are going to offer the rope. In the ancient times, monks can get robes only from the body of the day. So it's now like monk receiving the robe as if it was offered by the deceased. Then we peel the border of dedication. To close the ceremony, the senior monks will bless everyone with the holy water, and the water will fall down on everyone's head to bring them luck and prosperity. After the monk left, we pour the water of dedication onto the ground, so the goddess of earth will be the witness of our action today. Then we can have lunch. When we finish eating, we clean the place for the temple and we can go home. It took me many years to finish this video because I'm not very good in English, but I, I want you to learn about Thai culture. So I need to make a research a lot. I mean about the words and how to say about the culture. And if you have anything to discuss, you can leave the comment. Or if you want some private conversation, you can go to my Instagram, Joy Journey channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye. Sadiqa.